afternoon viewers today class we'll be looking at the concept of drying and dehydrating agents these two concepts have been a kind of ambiguity to students but i believe with the help of this video to be so clear to them now the two concepts drying and dehydrating agent have something majorly in common which include ability to dry moisture or ability to remove moisture from a substance but the clear difference between them is that a drying agent dry a substance physically why what the hydrating agent dry a substance chemically that is this exhibits a physical change this exhibits a chemical change also a drying agent have the ability to dry a substance without affecting the physical properties but a dehydrating agent will dry a substance and will also affect the physical property that is to cause what burning now a sample of a drying agent include all of hygroscopic substance all of hygroscopic hygroscopic substance and all of the liquid the liquid substance as we have discussed in the previous video since these two substances have the ability to absorb moisture they have also they can also be described as what a drying agent at the same time a dehydrating agent but when any of any of them is being used and it affects physical properties is said to be what dehydrating agent a common example is h2so4 that's concentrated h2so4 otherwise known as oil of vitrol oil of vitrol that's a conk h2so4 now conk h2so4 behave as a drying agent at the same time behave as a dehydrating agent how as a drying agent it has the ability to dry a substance or dry gas at dry what moisture out of a gas at the same time have ability to what to dehydrate a substance by dehydrating a substance it means that on the process of it trying to remove moisture from the substance it what affect the physical properties now by drying using h2so4 it will not affect physical properties by dehydrating using h2so4 it will affect physical properties now another example as we have we have copper oxide we also have calcium oxide now in area of drying gas calcium chloride calcium oxide copper oxide as the name imply copper oxide calcium oxide calcium two chloride these have the ability to what to dry moisture or we describe them as a desiccant we call them desiccant now all dry gas like this all dry gases but calcium oxide specialized in what in drying ammonia gas other the liquid substance and hygroscopic substance can be used to dry other gas they are they cannot react with but calcium oxide is specially used to dry what ammonia why because calcium oxide otherwise known as quick lime quick lime we call it quick lime or we can also call it burnt lime burnt lime it has the ability to what to specifically dry moisture out of ammonia because it will never react with ammonia h2so4 can dry all gas except ammonia because it will react with ammonia to form a product because ammonia will behave alkaline to it while it acts as an acid to form what a product now in this case also we also have the case of calcium 2 chloride can dry all gases but cannot be used to dry ammonia but the major drying agent or substance that can be dry that can be used to dry all gases in is called silicon silicon gel silica gel have the ability to dry all substance removing moisture dry all gas removing moisture without affecting any of its properties these are what we know or what we should know about drying and dehydrating agents don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share this video subscribe and like so you can get more of this new video thank you very much for watching